Hey guys, I'm back. So, this is gonna be a different video. I just wanted to get this video off my chest. Um, how I survived Breath of the Wild. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does that have to do with this situation? Just bear with me. Um, when I first started playing Breath of the Wild, it was a lot more tragic than any other playthrough. Um, so, during the plateau, I was just following the normal strategies and all. Of course, watching various videos of the plateau, and only the plateau. So, I knew where majority of the stuff was. So, I got kind of stacked up and thought, Yeah, I'm pretty ready to go against Ganon. So, did I know, there was something that I still fear to this day. Even with the DLC, with the Master Sword being at 60, thank God. Um, the freaking Guardians. The Stalkers are the ones that I hate the most. When I tell you, I did not, I didn't touch Breath of the Wild for about six to eight months because of them. I was perpetually stuck because i didn't know how to teleport i didn't know they didn't tell me in the um, beginning they didn't tell me how to do so so or if they did i just forgot i just ignored it but still um when i got off the plateau my first thing was and eh, forget about that other strategy i'm gonna go beat ganon speed run this then go through the story. Yeah. I don't know any speedruns for Asuka. This is my first time ever touching this game. So. I didn't make it to the castle at all. And the first thing that I saw was a guardian. Yeah, I can take this down. Let me just pull out my sword, run up at it, and just one shot it. Yeah, that's perfect. Definitely, yeah, that's, yeah, uh-huh. Let me go against that again. That was just a fluke. Let me just shoot it from afar. Still gets one shot it. All right, let me see if I can block it. My shield breaks. Great. Let me use my other shields. Broke and broke. Now I got no shield. And I'm running for my life, knowing that this thing can follow me. So still, I got fucked up. I have not touched the game for eight, I want to say seven, yeah, around seven months. Because I was saved, auto save was on, I did not know how to teleport out. And I was just stuck in the middle of the plateau, surrounded by guardians, regardless of where you go. I want to go left, I'm greeted by two guardians. If you look on the Hylian map, um, I'm just literally smack dab in the middle, like in the entrance of the, um, like the, like the straight down entrance of the high on the plat on the flat not the plateau, the Hylian, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but, um, Hyrule Field, Hyrule Field, uh, and straight down the middle, and if you know anything about Hyrule Field, they are just loaded with guardians just loaded so i couldn't go anywhere until i touched the game still not knowing how to teleport <laughs> but at least learning how to stealthily get around them so i got out of it and went through my normal playthrough everything was fine until i got into divine beast now i know what you're thinking Oh, she at least has good hearts or did some strength and some shrines. I didn't do a dang shrine at all. I still have four hearts. Yeah, I wanted to go get hearts instead of stamina because I thought I was going to last more because of the guardians. Because again, they were still on my mind. So, I invested in hearts. But I didn't know how to get them. So, I just played the game thinking that they were just going to give you hearts over and over again. I thought, I don't know, we get hearts from Divine Beast from just watching videos. 
I'm gonna guess that I only give you what two three hearts. It's enough, right? So I go to the divine beast. Oh no, not Varuda. Not. I think it's Varuda. I'll, no, I'm just gonna call them the animals. Oh no, not the um, not the um elephant. Definitely not the bird, because of course I tried to go there first, because I love birds. Realized that um, freezing was a problem, and walk right out. So I went into the, um, what's it called again? The camel, burnt, that's not an option. Then I went to the water place, and did, I would get into, the, I would get into the elephant. Realized that I had to fight a lionel, and back the crap out. Because still, Lionel's, I can still fight Lionel's anytime, any day of the week. Um, but early game, no. <laughs> you were not seeing me fight a Lionel at all. Um, so I skipped that. So with less than one option left. Camel. That's right. My first Divine Beast was the Camel. With only four hearts. And weapons that only had, eight, like, what? 16 to 18, no. 16 to 20 damage. And each of them were all, like, medium, medium durability as the highest weapon that I had. So you could tell where that fight went. Um, that took me another two months to beat. I swear this. I cannot when I was playing this game. I could not, I'm gonna tell you now, when I got the DLC and I had to redo Thunderblight, I thought I can use my mass, I can use the Master Sword, thinking that I can get some good damage off of it. Boy, when I tell you, I got into that fight, that's, that's, we're gonna get that, uh, we're gonna get into that later, but just, all I gotta say is when I got into that fight, I was, <laughs> uh, I didn't touch the game. For a little while after that one but um we'll get back into that so after passing that one i was like yes i got finally i have beaten this game for a month and and during that same day it was like 12 o'clock at night so i get up to the heart canister let me give you one heart i did all of that grinding all of that training for one heart Felt like I said I got 20. Um, so yeah, once I got that, realizing how it can work, pretty easy. I'm gonna go into the deeper, I'm gonna get deeper into this tomorrow. But, um, yeah, my truck too.